Hello everyone, welcome to Daddle's Live. My name is Claudia and if you have not joined us before, we go live on Instagram Monday through Friday and give you guys a first look at the new app called Daddle's. If you haven't heard of Daddle's, it's a new animation app that makes it fast, fun, and easy for you to draw, animate, and share what you create with your friends. We didn't put anything up with Instagram story today. Today is like a flash live stream, if you will. We're just going with it. So um, we're excited to bring you along on that journey today. Also, we will not be live on Monday and Tuesday next week for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So you're gonna have to uh, get your daily dose of Donald's today, soak it all up, and then we'll be back on Wednesday with another live stream. Um, but for today's Donald, I'm gonna be making like a nativity scene type story because Christmas is coming up. Um, our offices are on the upper part of the church, so I just figured it was fitting to make that kind of battle today. Um, if you guys have any questions during the live stream, Callie is on camera, and she'd love to answer those questions or I can answer them as well. And if you start watching this tutorial and you're like, oh my gosh, I wanna make something just like that, you can go to the link in our profile Fill out those five easy questions, and then within about 48 hours, you'll receive an email that gives you access to the app in beta. Uh, so, again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to let us know, but let's get started. So, this is what I have so far. It looks like this right now. There's the manger and Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus, and then there's a big star. This is based upon a picture that I found online if I pull back that tab and bring that to the top. You can see it looked like that. So I'm doing this based off of a picture that I saw online. I use the photo import feature in order to bring this picture in for inspiration. Um, so I'm just gonna use that as a reference. And I'm gonna send that back to the bottom because uh, you can still see that image over here on the side. And what I wanna do is trace the, this camel, and it has the wise men on it, um, or at least some of them. So how I'm gonna make the camel is I'm gonna peel back that part of the sand, actually, and I'm gonna use the uh, freeform shape tool in order to make that. So actually, I'm gonna go under shapes and then go to the little um, paper crane looking thing. I'm gonna keep it on black. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so I can get as close as possible. And then I'm just going to trace my, my camel and my wise men. Also, I usually have my face like an inch from my screen, which is really bad for me. But so if this doesn't look exact, it's because I'm not used to drawing this far away. So we're just, yeah, that's really off. It's fine, everyone. We're rolling with it. Um, just tracing our camel. That's not gonna look great, I'm telling everyone right now. Boom. So, if we peel back that picture, we can see how bad my, my camel is. You know, that's not, that's, ooh, that back leg is not cute. <laughs> Other than that, that's better than I anticipated. So I'm actually gonna get rid of that, but it's way easier to use the freeform shape tool most of the time rather than just using the pen. Um, it's a lot of pen strokes. It's a lot of changing the size of your, your tool. Um, but actually I'll keep this for now and just show you guys what I'm planning on doing. So let's say we get rid of our thing. I would copy that wise, that wise men slash camel and put three of them. I would um, bring the picture back and I would trace one of the shadows, and that I will use the pen tool for. I would put that on zero for the legs right away and just make sure it's like a dark gray. Going in, changing the colors. Then I would just follow those legs to create, and you can see that the color's off for the pen, so I would like use the color picker. If you guys didn't know, the color picker is right around here. So I can click on that, drag it. It's almost black, so I'm just gonna stick with the color I was using so you can see that shadow. Yeah. Oh, that's not even the color I was using. I don't know what happened, but it's okay. It's just a mistake I made. And right now I'm using that really fine, that really, really, really fine um, pen size. So that's why 
I'm not able to fill in the whole thing. But then I could up the size of the pen that I'm using, the brush, excuse me. It's still on pen. Let's say I make that two, and then I could fill that all in. And that's way too light to be a shadow. I know this. <laughs> but just so you guys would see what I would plan on doing with this. So let's say that's our shadow. Obviously, it is not perfect, and that's okay, but just so you guys can get an idea. What a cute camo. Okay, we've got our shadow, right? Get rid of that image. What I would do is group a camel and a shadow together, and then I would do that with the other ones as well. But then I would have this whole picture that I've created be a scene, and then I would have it pan just a little bit. Here, I can actually do that for you guys. So let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of these two. And get rid of that one. So we'll group that. Bring everything back. And we wanna group the, oh my goodness. We wanna group the bottom scenery too. That is, we'll set this down. I want to get rid of this. We would want this um, blue background to be bigger. So if I click on that. Yep, just like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, that did a little damage, but it's okay. We would want this to go on top. And then we would want the camel here. We would want this all to be a group, right? And then we want that camel on top so you can see the shadow. There would be three of them. And then with this, we would move, we would actually want the camels in the scene as well. Last time I'm going to group all that together. If you guys aren't seeing how I'm grouping it, I'm just taking my finger and dragging across the entire screen. So I click group and to pan that across, I'm actually gonna zoom in a little bit. Oh, I just made it bigger. That is not what I wanted to do. Better, okay. I would go like this, click on the item, lightning bolt in the upper right-hand corner, and click on move. Oh my gosh, the cord from this is getting in the way. <laughs> like slapping Callie over here. I would just pan this to the side and have it stop. And then I would move that camel in and make it shrink as it goes. So if we just push play right now, the scene just moves a little bit like that, which is what we want it to do, but we want it to be a straight path. So I'm gonna, I went down to our toggle menu down here. So we just drew that. This is the menu you see, you click on the arrow for up, and then I clicked on straight path to turn that on. And now this should move straight. Oh yeah, isn't that smooth? That's way better, way better. So once that would stop, I would click on the little camel. And so you, you guys see that I grouped all of this together. We click on the drill in the upper left-hand corner, and then we drill into the camel. And what we're gonna do is have that camel move, and we want that to start right at the time that the, that the whole scene stops moving. So we're gonna zoom out a little bit. We're gonna click, drill back in. We're gonna zoom to where we want it. And we're gonna move that camel right at the four second mark, essentially because we want that to start where, right where the movement stopped. So we're gonna have that go like this. Like that. And then we would also have that same movement at the same time we would have that scale and we would make it smaller. So we'll slowly drag that down. Oh, just kidding. So what you'll have to do is move out of animation and then go back in click on that same item, click in the timeline where you wanted that to start, and then start that motion. Like so. So now if we push play, the scene moves, we have the manger over on the far left, then we see the camel moving. And then I would just adjust, ad just adjust that movement pattern. But that is all that I have for you guys. Other animations that you could do within the scene, are things like having the star grow and shrink as the wise men get closer. 
you could have the, I have like a little like orb or halo around baby Jesus. You could have that change colors. Um, you could have um, Mary lean in towards the baby and lean out. There are different little motions so that you could have a lot of things going on in the scene. Um, or you could keep it pretty simple and just have the wise men move towards the manger. Um, all right. Do you guys have any questions for me about this daddle? No? All right. So that's all we have for you guys. Thank you so much for joining our live stream today. We do have other social media platforms. We have a Twitter account. We have our Facebook group. If you are still on Facebook, I know it's getting pretty outdated, but if you are still using Facebook, you can search Doddles Community and put in a request and join that for us. It's a place um, where artists and creatives can share what they've been working on, promote some of their platforms as well, and then share the Doddles that they're making. And we also have a YouTube channel, so if you go to YouTube, search Doddles, you can search it with the word how to or animate, and our channel should come up. Be sure to like and subscribe and ask us questions. These live streams go up on YouTube every single day from Instagram. So you can watch this again if you absolutely love this live stream today. And um, once again, we won't be live on Monday so or Tuesday because of the holiday. So we will be back again on Wednesday with another live stream. All right, guys. Thanks so much for joining and have a good day. Bye.